Hello and welcome everybody. It's Rose Smith here from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me. I have this week's Pick a Card Weekly Tarot Reading. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Just pick a number now between one and five. I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation after having a little vision. Okay, so let's go to the board and see what these cards have to say uh, for this week. If you're watching it in the future, don't be concerned about the date because there's no such thing as time in spirit. If you're watching it, you'll know because you'll feel something. So pay attention to your body and pay attention to your emotional feelings. You never know what insights you might pick up. Okay, we're doing card number one. Card number one, the door is closed here in front of me. You can try knocking on the door. You can probably even, with a bit of effort, open the door to uh, this opportunity. I'm not sure if the opportunity is stemming um, from the past and it's come back or the opportunity is a brand new opportunity from the future. Uh, however, I get somebody waiting patiently. If you are waiting for something, put a time limit on it. I know... I know, for example, uh, women who have waited decades, quite literally, uh, for a particular man. I've had that um, experience of reading for many women over the decades that are waiting decades for a man. Don't do that. It's soul-destroying. You'll destroy yourself doing that, waiting around. have to get on with your life one way or the other. Okay, so let's see what the card is ah this is interesting two of wands in some way a situation has been limiting you it has been containing you uh, and keeping you within a certain framework or within a certain situation however this week something changes perhaps it's to do with Pluto changing signs uh, into Aquarius or Saturn changing signs into Pisces uh, in the last few weeks this has all happened but there's a big chink here in the offense that has been uh, keeping you limited so now it's much easier to step out of whatever arrangement or situation that you've been in where you've been limited you'll see there she's wearing red uh, so this means that um, you need to put some energy into it the power uh, and the dominion of your own life is in your hands so it takes energy to step out of the current situation but a new future is within your grasp and there's the whole wide world so that's like a a, um, a balloon which which is like the world and she's burning sage so cleaning up you know spiritually cleaning up it's something to do with self-expression here as well because of these these colors blue and mauve sorts of colors self-expression and receiving um, the insight from spirit okay number one i think i feel actually a bit excited about that i feel like it's ultimately quite positive even if you are a little bit frightened to step out of your current situation into a new world i think it's something to try up to you your life now number two card number two closing my eyes now uh, okay <laughs> i see a magician pulling a rabbit out of the hat a white rabbit but it's it's more like a puppy dog or a um it's supposed to be a white rabbit but it's some other sort of animal uh and so it might be that uh any fear that was there changes and it becomes the energies around it become more loyal or become more affectionate or whatever you associate with puppy dogs uh, yes it changes the card that comes up uh, is the two of wands um, yeah these two uh, uh, sorry page of wands that's the two of wands this is the page of wands so we seem to be getting a lot of twos and a lot of pages uh, today pages often bring new good news and I often think um, it is good actually the card doesn't actually indicate if it's good or bad news but i often think it's good uh, and you'll see that big blue bow tie again is about um, uh, self-expression uh, so this is sometimes somebody young like a young man 
and he has some sort of spiritual insight that he can give you sometimes there's travel associated with this but not so much it's more about the chakras opening up and getting the energy from the chakras but there's growth and development here action you can take action on a point okay there we go uh, pay attention you might just be surprised what you hear this week Alrighty, we're doing uh, card number three now. Card number three, closing my eyes. Okay, reading the newspaper. Often think about uh, the word news because it's like things that are new, plural. Uh, and you might find some new things coming to you that you didn't know about uh, before. News, new, current, can be current events, but in your life, current events for you. Uh, not just what's going on in the world. Okay, what else do I see? Reading the newspaper. Uh, something about gathering knowledge, gathering, well, you have to develop your own wisdom, but you need information in order to do that, even if it's analysing the information to decide that you don't want to use it. Uh, so, yeah, there's so much information around these days. It's hard to analyse everything to get to the bottom, what the real truth is. Uh, and the truth is that something's going to fall apart. Uh, that's not necessarily, a, you know, so bad. And it's something that you probably know about if you've been paying attention because this eye up here is like intuition. So something that you didn't think was going to happen perhaps, but here it is, it's happening. Uh, this tower in the middle here, this is a construct that you've had in your mind it's probably been there for a long time uh, rather than a short time and um, people can sometimes find this quite uncomfortable it could all happen in a flash you know quite unpredictable in one way but as i say if you've been paying attention to your intuition then it's you know sudden change that while you mightn't have predicted all of the details, you're sort of not surprised in another way, if that makes sense. Uh, it's, a, it's a major change in um, direction. Sometimes it's, um, you know, quite disruptive to your life. Okay, number three. That's the card I normally pick, uh, but I didn't pick it today for some reason. I didn't pick any today for some reason. Uh, but, you know, that could well be me, because if I did pick one, I would have picked that one okay but if you've picked three um you, you know have a look in your life and see in what way has the crown that you've been wearing in what way has that toppled and you know your life is changing it's a good time to be flexible the universe can help you here decide what's really important to you okay number four i just hurt my back a minute ago actually that's why i'm a bit late with this uh and um I had to have a lie down and take some um, painkillers, which I hardly ever do. So this might be for me. And because of that, I'm going to draw another card, actually, on number three. What else do I see? Yeah, so I see a big sort of bandsaw here. It's saying it's time to cut something off. Hmm two of swords okay here's the sword here it's the ability to analyze and dissect a situation and get to the core of it look at the big picture detail uh, look at the big picture but look at the details as well swords are all about your um you know mental constructs how you think uh, it's not a good idea to be you know willfully <laughs> willfully blind or you know turn your head and look the other way um it's um it's not a good time to conform uh to the dictates of authority it's time to do what you want this might be something where you've been conforming too much and it has to come to an end okay so i'll leave that with you to decide number four card number four what do i see okay uh there could be some sort of celebration here i see two glasses of wine clinking it also reminds me of like a completion a celebration a coming together 
um, a bit, a little bit like the lovers card in that, uh, but it's not as major as that. But something, some agreement with another person, uh, some reaching the end of the cycle and beginning a new cycle, integrating the energy. The card that comes up is the world card, which is beautiful. Uh, card number four, the world is your oyster. You can really achieve things this week. Uh, set your mind to whatever you choose. She's wearing gold here. Uh, this is a very high vibration. She carries the staff, the scepter, uh, which is all about um, royalty, being sovereign of your own life. Uh, it's a, uh, a fabulous card. I haven't actually seen it for ages. Uh, but yeah, here it is again. Uh, it can sometimes suggest, you know, financial improvements, attainment of wealth and prosperity. Sometimes it's about um, uh, receiving some sort of recognition for work that you might have done uh, or perhaps rewards in some way. Uh, positive, um, it could be a positive change in status or perhaps, you know, people start to really recognise you uh, for who you are. Okay, and then we have card number five is alive uh, and closing my eyes. What's this thing here? Drill, it's a drill. Oh, it's an egg beater, not a drill. It's an egg beater. I could just see it going round and around uh, and an egg beater. So um, you might feel this week like you're going around in circles, but sometimes, you know, when you make a cake, you have to break eggs. Uh, and it could be breaking something to make something else or undoing something to make something new you know let's see what we get the card that comes up the seven of swords this came up today um, a lot of these cards the same cards coming up over and over again in the old days it was called the thief in the night card but it's more positive than that because of these yellow legs it's like moving forward from a difficult situation but um, some really good ideas that you've grounded in reality you made them practical you made them real see these swords are stuck in the ground these open tents sometimes just travel but but more than that usually it's about your chakras opening up opening up so you have more energy so I don't see this as negative, I see it as super positive, especially with these bright yellow legs, the solar plexus, it's about achieving your goals, improving your self-esteem, maybe even improving your relationship with authority figures, particularly your parents, uh, and um, maybe a masculine parent or the masculine side of your family, uh, like a um, a grandfather for example if you don't have a father uh, or you know hopefully there was some sort of masculine role model when you were growing up there's some sort of improvement there around this so this is making your way forward uh, in the lot in the making your way forward in life alrighty so we've got two major arcana there that's more or less saying it's a normal sort of week um, uh, you could have some, you know, generally speaking, people will have small wins this week. Uh, but if you've picked three and four, then there's some something can come out of those cards, which is life changing. Uh, so I see that even though Tower might not feel pleasant, uh, it's ultimately a new start for you in some way, even if it's unpredictable or not what you thought it was going to be. All right, so that's it, everyone. I hope this is useful for you. There I am stuck, so uh, we'll just go back to the board. Um, I hope this is useful. Leave a like or a comment. That would be fabulous. Or post on your socials. That would be fabulous too. Have a fabulous week, everyone. And if you're new, subscribe and be alive and hit that notification bell. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks and bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.